I knew that I wanted to do this from about nine. Marina, welcome. Hello. Um, uh, well, you're sitting here in a hotel room in Amsterdam. Uh -huh. Is this what you wanted to become when you were like 14 or something? Well, right this instant, no, but it's, it's, a, it's a nice place to be because I'm, I'm doing it to promote something that I worked towards for a long time. So, yeah, I'm really happy to be here, actually. But do you know what you wanted to become? Because uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I did. I, plan I knew that... I knew that I wanted to do this from about nine, but I didn't know how to articulate it. It was like something inside, like a drive. Mm -hmm. um, that made me very obsessed with the idea of becoming a singer and I kind of articulated it to myself when I was about 15 and from then onwards I would spend every single hour of every day of every week of every month of every year thinking about it until I was 19 and I was able to move to London and um, and start working towards achieving it so I definitely knew. And what expectations did you have when you moved out? Well, I didn't, I knew that I wouldn't achieve it quickly and it's taken me almost five years, so it hasn't been the quickest route, but um, I think I expected in the beginning to go in a very manufactured pop route because that's, I thought that's how everybody did it. <laughs> um, and then when I started to do that, I realized that I actually really wanted to be an artist and to have creative control over things which isn't very possible in, um, in a manufactured pop act. So, so I kind of quit doing, quit pursuing that route. And when I was about 21, I really started to um, become a better songwriter and started producing my own songs and gigging on my own with just like a cheap keyboard. Um, and that's when I started to go somewhere. But how, what did this pop route look like? <laughs> Nothing, no one wanted me. <laughs> um, well, I had a background in dance, and so I used to go to a lot of dance auditions, um, basically anything that was to do with performing. And I desperately wanted to be a singer, but I wasn't very good because I'd never had enough practice in my, in my life, which is silly if I wanted to be a singer, but that's just the way it was. And so um, it was for like, you know, like girl bands, like pop punk solo act auditions, anything, but all of them sucked, and I'm glad that they didn't want me because they were really bad. <laughs> and then uh, when you stayed away from that, from mm. the pop route, um, you chose this name, Marina and the Diamonds. Why did you choose that instead of your own name? What, what's? I think it was because. I felt quite alone at the time, and for me, Marina and the Diamonds signified a collective or a group. And I also had no fans, so for me, it was kind of like <laughs> saying that I had these imaginary fans called the Diamonds. And then it just stuck, um, and and it morphed into what it is today. But my surname is Diamonds anyway, so that's where the mm -hmm. Diamonds came.